Hi guys, this is um, another video on e, um, how electric currents produce magnetic fields. So um, back in like 1820, while uh, searching for a relationship between electricity and magnetism, um, a gentleman by the name of Hans Christian Orsted noticed that um, a compass needle would be deflected away uh, from pointing towards the North Pole when he connected a wire to a battery. So he came to the conclusion that if he ran an electric current, that it would produce a magnetic field. Okay, so electric current produced a magnetic field. And until this point, we've been dealing with electricity, but we haven't looked at some of the side effects of electricity. Um, so we now understand that the two go hand in hand. So it's been observed that electric currents produce magnetic fields and also observed that the direction of the magnetic field depended on the direction of the electric current. So a little picture I've drawn here for you tells this is a piece of wire it goes from here to here. Okay, and it shows that the electric current is flowing this way straight up through the through this disk. So if it's flowing straight up through the disk, then this right here is the direction of the magnetic field. Now, this can be confusing because, um, you know, what if it flows down or what if it's faced this way or that way? Uh, it can be oriented. So let me give you a little, um, little rule here that I will uh, we'll talk about in a second. So I'm going to try to illustrate the rule for you. Um, this is something called the uh, the right hand rule of the uh, electric current and magnetism. So what, you, what I want you to do is, is take your hand, okay, and you're going to face your thumb up like this, okay? So now I'm going to reorient my hand so my thumb is facing up. Okay, what's, what's cool about this is that the direction of the... Um, current, which is the direction my thumb is facing up, okay, can tell us what direction the magnetic field is flowing. So the, the B field follows the path followed by your curved fingers. So if you go like this, right, and you hold your thumb up like this, your thumb is the electric current. What happens is when you turn that, Okay, if, if I if I turn it to turn it like this, this shows the curled finger shows the direction of the uh, of the B field, the magnetic field. So look, here's my picture here, right? If I go and I twist my hand like this, okay, the curved finger shows the direction of that uh, B field or the magnetic field. So I can if I similarly if I hold my hand down and I show the current going down. Okay, the direction, of course, you can't see that, but the direction follows the direction of your curved fingers. Okay, so you have a little practice with that on some of the homework problems. And it'll ask you, like, you know, what direction does the B field flow? So I'm going to make this video short and sweet, and we're going to stop it at um, just being able, <coughs> excuse me, being able to find the direction of a B field. So, the, so it just says that an uh, electric current produces a magnetic field that goes around, okay? Um, and that'll be all for, for that uh, section.